Hi, Optimistic here for gslpa.com with another Game Salad tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Play services in your app, basically Google Play leaderboards and Google Play achievements. Now, the process is a bit different to how we would have done it before with Amazon or Apple, iTunes, <clears throat> because Google Play provides you with the leaderboard ID and the achievement ID at the end of the process which you then have to put into your project file. I'll explain as we go along. Let's begin. So what we need to do first is go to our Google Play console, hit the game services tab and add a new game. Create the name of create enter the name of your game, test game two, choose the category, continue. Okay, and from here, let's start creating an achievement. Name achievement one. Of course, later on, you'll add your icon and those details for the purpose of the tutorial. I'll leave that out for now. Hit save, and this is your achievement ID. So, when you open your game salad project file, copy this ID open your game salad project file go to where that achievement will be listed will be activated sorry <clears throat> and where it says achievement ID paste that ID in the box provided we will do the same for leaderboards create a leaderboard let's call it leaderboard 2 And here again is our leaderboard ID. So back to the project file again. Go to where that particular score will be posted and enter the leaderboard ID <coughs> so that the score goes to that particular leaderboard. This, there's also one other important step which is uh, linked apps. You need to link all applications that you want to use at Google Play and generate an, auth, an o, OAuth2 key for each app to include in your binary. How do you do that? So, uh, it needs to have the same package name. So, you are basically linking the app to the specific, the, sorry, the Google Play service to the specific app that you'll be using. In this case, I will be using this test app that I've started creating and save and continue. It's going to ask you to authorize your app and it's going to ask you for an SHA1 signing certificate fingerprint. Now where do you get this signing certificate fingerprint? That you get with your key store. So if you're on a Mac, open terminal I already have a terminal window in here and you are going to basically open your key store again and look for this particular series of numbers uh, certificate fingerprint SHA1 and you copy this this sequence and you paste it here and then your app will be linked to the Google Play services. All right, so that's basically what we do on the Google console side of things. On the game salad side, on the publishing portal, there are also some things that we have to select. First of all, before publishing, if your your app is going to use the Google leaderboards, select leaderboards. If you're using achievements, select achievements. Also, this number at the top of your game services dashboard is your game ID, your Google Play services ID. So you need to copy this, this number and place it under the services tab, Google, Google game services app ID. So again, this is your app ID and it needs to be pasted in the Google 
Play Services tab <clears throat> on the Game Salad Publishing Portal. Once those things are done, your game will be connected to the Google Play Services framework and you will have access to Google Play leaderboards and achievements. And that's it. I will also include an upload of the project file that I use, the test project file that I use, so that you can take a look at it and see if, if there's anything that you can learn from it. Uh, that choice is yours. It will be available on this site, gshelper.com. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.